The Georgia Tech Archives houses the library's rare book collection, which focuses on the history of science and technology. This collection spans the 16th through the 20th centuries, largely covering the history of science, including physics, mathematics, engineering, architecture, geography, economics, textiles, and philosophy. With special strengths in Newtoniana, the library owns a copy of each of the first three editions of the Principia Mathematica, published in 1687, 1713, and 1726. Georgia Tech's Rare Books Collection was established in the 1940s by librarian and later director of libraries Dorothy Crosland. Crosland traveled to Europe to visit rare book dealers and purchase books relating to the history of science and technology with the intent of increasing the prestige of the Georgia Tech Library's collections. As a result, most books in the collection were written by European scientists and published in Latin, German, Italian, or French. The collection continues to grow through purchases and donations. Crosland purchased the first edition of the Principia in 1958 and the Georgia Tech Library received the third edition from a donor in 1984. The library purchased the second edition from a book dealer in London in 1999, completing the set. Few scientists have achieved the historical significance of Sir Isaac Newton. His materials serve as valuable scientific and historical documents. Newton was born in 1643 in England and entered Cambridge University in 1661. He was elected a Fellow of Trinity College in 1667 and became Professor of Mathematics at the University of Cambridge in 1669. In 1689, he was elected a Member of Parliament for the University of Cambridge and was re-elected for another term in 1701 and 1702. He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of London in 1703, a position he held until his death in 1727. By 1667, Newton had placed himself at the forefront of mathematics and natural philosophy. His appointment in 1669 as Professor of Mathematics at the University of Cambridge revealed the widespread respect for his mathematical capabilities at the time, but none of his fellow scholars had discovered his true mathematical genius. Newton's greatest scientific achievement, the Principia, established the modern science of dynamics. Newton formulated his three laws of motion, then applied those to Kepler's laws of orbital motion to derive the law of universal gravitation, which holds that all bodies are affected by the force of gravity. He confirmed Kepler's laws of planetary motion and combined the ideas of Copernicus, Galileo, and Kepler into a single theory which explained the underlying universal laws of the cosmos in mathematical terms. Published in 1687, the Principia made an immediate and permanent impact on the European scholarly community and serves as the basis for modern physics. Originally published in Latin, the Principia is comprised of three books which total 510 pages and include propositions, theorems, problems, lemmas, and scolia that study a variety of forces and the different kinds of motions they produce. The 193 propositions are based upon eight definitions and three laws of motion. Derived from Kepler's three laws of planetary motion, Newton's laws form the basis for universal gravitation and the entire concept of the Principia. Book 1 addresses the motion of bodies in space, either in known orbits or under the action of known forces or mutual attraction. Book 2 discusses hydrodynamics and hydrostatics and covers motion in resisting mediums such as water, as well as pendulums, wave motion, and acoustics. Book 3 elucidates the phenomena of cometary orbits, perturbation, parallaxis of stars, and the general scolium. The Principia's greatest relevance lies in Newton's three laws of motion. The first law states, a body at rest will remain at rest, and a body in motion will remain in motion unless it is acted upon by an external force. The second law states, the force acting on an object is equal to the mass of that object times its acceleration. The third law states, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. The Principia also establishes the laws of universal gravitation, which state that gravity is universal. The force of gravitational attraction is directly dependent upon the masses of both objects and inversely proportional to the square of the distance which separates their centers. 
The full title of the Principia translates into English as Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy and was first printed on July 5, 1687. A 2020 study from the California Institute of Technology indicates that between 600 and 750 copies were printed, an increase from previous studies suggesting there were initially only 250 copies created. Edmund Haley, a driving force behind Newton's work and the man who financed and supervised the verse printing, included an introduction and special letter to King James II in some copies of the first edition. In the letter, Haley provides a general account of the book and a special explanation of the theory of tides. The archive's copy is very rare and valuable because it is a first issue copy of the first edition that also includes the letter from Haley bound within. The Georgia Tech Library obtained this edition through a purchase by Dorothy Crosland in 1958. It is estimated that approximately 386 copies currently exist worldwide. In addition to the letter from Haley, our copy contains some handwritten notes on the front and back pages written by an unknown author. The book is fragile, with a small split in the spine, so it must be opened with care. Newton began planning the second edition of the Principia in the early 1690s. He maintained annotated copies of the first edition, bound with interwoven blank sheets where he could record corrections, revisions, and additions for the next edition. With editorial assistance from mathematician Roger Coates and other professors at Trinity College, Newton published the second edition 26 years later, in 1713. The second edition also served as the basis for the first editions printed abroad. Approximately 750 copies of this edition were created in the first printing. The third edition was published in 1726, just one year before Newton's death, and serves as the definitive Latin text of the Principia. It contains a few changes from the second edition, including a preface by Edmund Haley and a new rule continuing Newton's running argument with Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz over calculus. There are approximately 1,250 copies initially printed. The first English translation of the Principia was published in 1729 and reprinted in 1803. The reprints contain annotations and additional essays meant to help the contemporary reader understand the original text. The Archives owns a copy of the 1803 translation, gifted from MIT in 1945, as well as several other English translations from the 1800s and early 1900s. Optics, Newton's influential study of the nature of light, was published in 1704 in English during a time when most scientific texts were printed in Latin. Optics records experiments in the study of the nature of light and color of diffractions, provides our modern understanding of light and color, and serves as a record of Newton's experiments, reasoning, and deductions on optics. Notably, it rejects the idea from Greek philosophers that pure light is white or colorless and introduces the idea of the color spectrum. It is the first book to show a diagram using a prism as a beam expander. Newton's curiosity about light and vision started when he was a student in the 1660s. He risked blinding himself by staring at the sun and poking the sides of his eyeballs with a small blunt needle called a bakken to see how it would affect his vision. In 1668, he constructed the first reflecting telescope, which he demonstrated to the Royal Society of London in 1671. They encouraged him to publish his notes, New Theory About Light and Colors, which he later expanded into optics. Although he finished the work in 1692, to avoid discord, he waited to publish until after the death of Robert Hooke, with whom he experienced hostile criticism and arguments about his work. Optics gave us Newton's theory of color, which states that objects appear to be certain colors because they absorb and reflect different amounts and wavelengths of light, as well as the concept that sunlight, or any white light, is a mixture of rays of light of different colors. He also discovered that a prism can be used to separate white light into a spectrum of colors. The Archives owns a first edition copy published in 1704. Due to their age, fragility, and value, the Georgia Tech Archives takes special care to preserve these books. Each book is housed in an acid-free box in a dark, climate-controlled environment with a stable temperature of about 50 degrees and 30% relative humidity. This prevents moisture, which can lead to damage from mold, mildew, or foxing on book pages. 
The Archives works to balance preservation with access by collaborating with faculty to incorporate the rare books into their course instruction and by making them available to view by appointment in the Archives reading room. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, we are not making appointments to view the rare books during the 2021 spring semester. When we are back to being fully in person on campus with our regular reading room hours, you can schedule an appointment to view these books using the contact form on the Georgia Tech Archives website. Visit our website to learn more about our rare books and other archival collections.